The Dream Steel inscription was made as a propaganda tool for a new king, Thutmose IV. Thutmose was not first in line to succeed his father, Amenhotep II. So, in order to justify his right to the throne, he needed to link himself to the gods and to the great ancient site of Giza. The inscriptions you see here tell a story that occurred when he was a young prince. The horizontal lines of hieroglyphs describe how the Sphinx appeared to Thutmose in a dream and promised him the throne if he would only clear the sand away from its body. The end of the story is not preserved because the text at the bottom of the stela is worn away, but Thutmose must have removed the sand and built several protective enclosure walls. In return, the Sphinx took the form of the sun god and made Thutmose IV pharaoh over all of Egypt. Thutmose IV may also have added a standing royal statue beneath the Sphinx's beard. Later, during the 19th dynasty, King Ramses II added two rectangular stele to further enhance Thutmose's additions. One appears on each side of Thutmose IV's dream stele. Today, they can be found in the Louvre Museum in Paris. The winged sun's disk hovers over the scene at the top of the stela. And on either side, identical images of the Sphinx crouch on raised platforms. They face outwards towards the standing images of the king. On the left, Thutmose offers the god a Nemset vessel with a liquid libation. On the right, he pours another libation into a vessel on a tall stand, and he presents incense with his other hand. The pairs of cartouches, or oval rings, above his face contain two forms of his royal name, Menkeperu Ra and Jehudi Mes, which means Thutmose.